Ladies and gentlemen, I have some bad news. The reason that your website might not be showing up in search engines, the reason you're not getting as much traffic as you should, might be because of things that you're not doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you five things that you can do that are absolutely going to help. And if you can combine three and four together, you're pretty much guaranteed to make a big impact. We're of course talking about SEO, search engine optimization. And the first thing is really simple, but you absolutely need to check it. So first, how do we make sure that your website is actually being seen. We're going to come onto your WordPress admin dashboard right here, and you're going to head down to settings. From settings, just in the little pop-out menu, we're going to go ahead and click on reading. And all we're looking for on this page is right here, search engine visibility. If this is clicked, if this is ticked like this, that is bad news. We don't want that. That is literally doing exactly what it says. It's discouraging search engines from indexing your site. We don't want that. So just make sure that that is unchecked. That's point one. Make sure you've done that. What else can we do? For you? Next up, we want to talk about linking and helping Google work out what is on your site and also what's important on your site. So we're going to do this with internal links. If you can add internal links to your site, you're starting to establish almost like a hierarchy of what's important within your posts. And Google will follow these links. And a post that has a lot of links going to it is seen as a positive thing. So if you can take all of your different posts and start to pull elements and link them all together. You're helping Google to index your site and you're also helping Google work out what's important and what content it should show to people who are searching. Now, Google mainly are only really interested in giving the best possible user experience. So the better it understands your site, which can be done with links, the more likely you are to rank higher. So this time I'm gonna show you the blog article I'm talking about. So this is a blog article here, and there's not any links within it, which is potentially a problem. So this is from the website. Let's come up here and just go to edit post. From here, we're gonna end up in the blocks editor, and this is my entire article. Now I want to start adding links to this. So maybe if we come down here to this section, there's a little bit here that says, especially with the right equipment. If I highlight this, I can then look at adding a link. And you can see I've got the option just here to click on that. So I'm gonna click on link, and then I can start to search for the particular page that I'm looking for, one that's on the website. So if I type in VR, because I know I have another blog article called The Ultimate Guide to the Best VR Kit. So I'm gonna click on that one there, and I have immediately turned that section there, especially with the right equipment, into an internal link. This gives me the opportunity to link from this one to another article, and like I say, build all of that context that your web browser or your search engine is looking for. Let's have a quick look at that link in real time. So let's hit save here, and then let's go and have a look at this page. So let's go back to my website. Here's my blog, and this is the article where we put that link. So let's go into here, scroll down, and you can see the link right there, especially with the right equipment. Let's click on it, and that's gonna take me straight through to here, the ultimate guide to the best VR kits and goggles in 2024. So now we've linked one to the other and we've given Google more context as to what we're doing and it's made us a little bit more trustworthy in its eyes as well. There is, however, an easier way to do this with a link assistant. And if you want to check that out, you need to click on the video that I will leave at the end of this one. So this is point three. This is the one I was talking about at the beginning that is absolutely crucial to you having great SEO. And you need to combine it with the next point to fully maximize what you can do. And what this is, is adding an XML sitemap. 
And what an XML sitemap is going to do is it's going to allow search engines to crawl through your site, through your posts, and just understand what your site is about and rank it that little bit better. Search engines are only really interested in providing the best possible experience to the end user. And the more accurate they can be, the better. So the better they understand your website, the more likely they are to rank it higher, which in turn is of course good for you. But of course you might need to know how to add an XML sitemap. So let's do that. So how are we gonna add this sitemap? We're gonna do it using a plugin. So we're gonna come into the WordPress plugins repository and we're just gonna search for AIO SEO. This is all in one SEO. You can see it's just here and you're just gonna to need to install and activate that, which you can see I've already got. So I'm just gonna click on all in one SEO and go to the dashboard. Don't need the notifications for now. So you can see it's giving me my SEO site score. This is a really powerful tool, but what we're interested in is the site maps just here from the main page. So we're just gonna click on manage. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to be in the general sitemap tab, and we just wanna make sure that enable sitemap is toggled on like that nice and straightforward. Now you can see this warning I've got here. So connect to Google to automatically add sitemaps and keep them in sync. This is step four. You know, I was talking earlier about you needing step three and four. Well, this is it. This is connecting to Google. And what you're gonna need to do here is you're gonna add your website to the Google search console. So let me show you how to do that. All in one SEO is very handy here and it just gives you the link. So we're just gonna click on connect to Google search console. So this is exactly what we're looking for here. The Google search console in the webmaster tools verification. And you can see it's very straightforward. Connect to Google search console. That's what we're looking for. Once you've clicked on that, you just need to attach your account, attach your email. So just click on the relevant email that you want to use and then sign in to all in one SEO. So we're just gonna click continue. And then you need to basically give All-in-One SEO some access, uh, which I've actually already done from using All-in-One SEO previously, but you can just approve it and press continue again. And then finally here, we have the option to complete connection. So let's do that. Let's just click on complete connection. That's worked perfectly. And my Google search console is now connected. And then if we go back to the dashboard, scroll down to where we found the sitemaps before just here click on manage and it will immediately show that the site is connected directly to Google Search Console and the sitemaps are in sync. Success. We've spoken multiple times now about how important it is to give context to what is happening on your website, whether that be your posts or your website in general, whether that's adding links or using something like an XML sitemap and connecting it to Google Search Console. But with all that, one of the easiest ways that you can do this in order to help boost your SEO is by using categories and tags on your WordPress site. And if you want to know how to use categories and tags on your WordPress site to boost your SEO a little bit further, then you wanna click this video right here.